Orlando, by Virginia Woolf is a groundbreaking and genre-defying novel that blurs the boundaries of time, gender, and identity. Published in 1928, the novel follows the extraordinary life and adventures of its titular character, Orlando, across four centuries of English history. The story begins in the Elizabethan era. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, Orlando is introduced as a young nobleman, a handsome and charismatic figure who enjoys poetry and literature. He falls in love with a Russian princess named Sasha, and their romance unfolds against the backdrop of the Elizabethan court. However, as the novel progresses, it becomes clear that Orlando is no ordinary individual. After an extended sleep of several days, Orlando awakens to find that he has not aged a day. He experiences a transformation, not just in his appearance but also in his gender. Orlando has become a woman, yet she remains essentially the same person. This transformation marks a significant turning point in the novel. Orlando's life continues through the centuries, and as she navigates the changing societal norms and historical events of each era, her gender identity shifts back and forth between male and female. Wolf explores the fluidity of gender and the constraints placed on individuals by societal expectations. Throughout Orlando's long life, readers are treated to a vivid and imaginative tour through different historical periods, including the Restoration, the 18th century, the Victorian era, and into the 20th century. The novel provides a rich tapestry of historical and cultural details, as well as insights into the changing roles and rights of women in society. Orlando's adventures and encounters with historical figures, such as Alexander Pope and Queen Victoria, offer a satirical commentary on the politics and culture of each era. The novel also delves into the art of writing, with Orlando pursuing a career as a poet and novelist in addition to her various other roles. One of the novel's central themes is the passage of time and the idea of immortality through art and literature. Orlando's writing serves as a form of immortality, allowing her to transcend the limitations of her physical existence. Orlando is a complex and multi-layered work that challenges traditional notions of gender, identity, and history. Virginia Woolf's prose is richly poetic and experimental, and the novel is often considered a precursor to the modernist and feminist movements in literature. It is both a literary tour de force and a thought-provoking exploration of the fluidity of human identity and the enduring power of art and storytelling. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for other interesting book summaries to spice up your to-be-read list.